Good morning, I'm Amy Slaughter Myers, one of the co-rectors here at St. Francis Episcopal Parish and Community Center. Hi, and I am Sarah Yeo, the Assistant Rector for Children, Youth, and Families here at St. Francis. So it's wonderful to be in this final week of our liturgical celebration of the season of creation with Christians of all denominations all over the world which concludes all over the world with the uh, celebration of the feast day of St. Francis of Assisi, who is us, our patron saint, as you all know. And we will be celebrating uh, St. Francis's day on Sunday with one service at 10 a.m. inside. You'll have special music, we'll all be together. And another thing that will happen is that we will offer wine, consecrated wine from the common cup. Sarah and I are going to model the way that the wine should be received in this time of uh, COVID-19. COVID-19 as an endemic, um, is endemic for us now. And so we are learning how to offer the common cup safely. Exactly. Yeah, so this is new for all of us. And new for all of us. We're gonna, we're gonna start this Sunday um, with one option for how to receive the wine. There will be two stations, one station with the bread only, the wafers only, and there will be another station that will have bread and the common cup. It's really important to remember that it's your choice to receive the, from the common cup or not. And the teaching of the church has long been that Christ is fully present in one kind. That is to say that just in the wafers, Christ is fully present. You are not required to um, take wine from the common cup if you don't feel comfortable. You are fully communed with just the bread, but for those who would like to, we're going to offer the common cup. And how yes. will we do that, Sarah? So the, the option for receiving wine from the common cup right now um, is that there will be um, a priest here offering the wine alongside um, another priest offering bread. You will receive a wafer and can put that in your mouth. Um, and if you would like the wine, you may, with the priest uh, continuing to hold the cup, you may take a sip from the chalice um, and then return back to your seat. Um, the priest will wipe between each person and twist the cup um, so that there is um, less, less chance of sharing germs and things. But of course we know that there's, we cannot eliminate risk um, by doing those two things. So there'll be some more information about this, both in the written text that accompanies this SSS and also in the SFC. And if you have any questions or concerns before Sunday, please reach out to me or Sarah. God's peace be with you. Peace and see you Sunday.